Hey guys, how's it going? This is Alex with Alex Gilbert Help. I hope you still remember me. And now I am really, really back. So now I'm going to be making videos uh, very often. And why don't we begin right now? So today's video is going to be about uh, lightning cables and the way that um, they easily break. So uh, I'm pretty sure that most of you iPhone, iPad, iOS users uh, have experienced that your lightning cable or the cable you're using to charge your device uh, gets ripped um, at the ends of the USB connector and the lightning port. So in this video I'm going to be showing you a fix for this and uh, it's a really known one. Um, I found it really really useful for me because it did help me a lot. Uh, I bought this cheap cable um, from a convenience store near my house and it was about around six bucks so much cheaper than the lightning cable because I wasn't gonna spend lots of dollars on a lightning cable when I can buy something cheaper which works exactly the same. So this video is gonna contain two parts. The first part is going to be showing you how to prevent your lightning cable from breaking uh, at the edges right here as well as on the other side and the other part is going to consist of how to enabling uh, the use of this cable on your iOS device. Uh, since I believe since iOS 7, Apple has implemented a thing that you cannot use external cables which are not certified by Apple on your iOS device. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can um, avoid that and use a cheaper cable the same way you would use a lightning cable. So why don't we go a little bit closer to the table and I'm going to be showing you how you can use a little spring from a pen or a mechanical pencil. No, I believe it's just from a pen because a mechanical pencil works a different way. <laughs> anyway, let's go right to the table. All right, guys, so the first step of this is to getting a spring. And once you've got the spring, uh, the first thing you will need to do is you will need to undo it even more at the ends in order to uh, begin putting it on the lightning cable. So as you see me doing right there, uh, just do that. But be really, really car careful since the point is really, um, it's really sharp and you can hurt yourself. So be careful with that. So once you get that done, uh, go ahead and put it in the lightning cable, the uh, first part, as you can see right there, so that uh, the spring is on the lightning cable. And uh, once you have that, gently hold the spring. And if you fail, uh, don't get desperate, just try it again. Uh, so as you can see right there, just put it and hold it with your finger. So once it's in right there, hold it with your finger and just start rotating the spring counterclockwise. Uh, actually, it's not counterclockwise, it's clockwise. Uh, so uh, once you start rot rotating it like that, you should see that the spring is getting on the lightning cable pretty well. Um, as you're seeing right there, sorry that the camera went a little bit out of focus. Uh, so the spring is going on the lightning cable like there. And uh, just keep on doing that until you have almost the entire spring on the cable. There we go. So almost the entire spring is on the cable. However, at the end, you will have a little, a little problem. So since the spring uh, is really tight there at the end, again, you will have to untie it as you did in the first part uh, of this tutorial in order for the spring to get in. So again, just uh, grab it and be really, really careful because um, it's really sharp. And uh, when I was doing it, it actually got stuck in my skin, as uh, you will see in a moment right here. So um, just uh, un un tighten it a little bit and try uh, again to put it on the lightning cable as I am doing right there. This little part, uh, this end part is really tricky because you have to... Um, uh, be really really patient with it because it does take some time and as you saw right there um, by accident I was rotating it counterclockwise which is incorrect you have to rotate it clockwise so uh, right there we have a little bit left and so um, at that point just try to put it in the lightning cable as you did in the beginning and as you can see right there again the spring got stuck in my skin and it did not actually hurt but it was a strange feeling and it was a little bit difficult to take it out. But anyway, just uh, try and put it on the lightning cable as you did in the beginning. It may be a little bit tedious. However, if you're patient, um, you will eventually get it and also be really, really careful with it. 
and also this depends on the spring because uh, uh, some springs are easier to get in for instance the first spring that i have on the other side of the lightning connector i did not have that much trouble putting it in maybe it is because it was uh, of a more expensive pen i don't know <laughs> but anyway as you can see right there now it's in and uh, the spring at this point is really really flimsy on the cable so what you want to do uh, you want to give it a little push uh, again so just uh, kind of um, push it together just like so and it, now it should be a little bit better and so now the spring will be just floating around the cable like that but in order to fix that uh, just uh, rotate it a little bit and push it up so that it grabs um, onto the plastic part of the cable just like so and as you can see now if you push it down it does not go down it stays there great guys so now that you have your lightning cable insured with the spring let's go ahead and show you how to enable your device in accepting the uh, not original and certified cable by apple so guys the tweak is called unsu uh, support unsupported accessories and it is available for free in Syria. so just go ahead and launch Syria and let it load go to the search tab and search for support unsupported accessories and it is uh, i believe from the big bus repo or from the mod my eye repo so you do not have to add any custom sources and there we go it is from the big bus repo and it is completely free and once you install this tweak it will respring your device and once your device is resprung you will be able to use your cheap and uncertified cable uh, lightning cable with your ios device so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys, I really hope you did enjoy it and I hope it was clear for you because it's a little bit tedious and difficult to do it the first time but once you get it done you will see that it wasn't as difficult as you can imagine. And this is a perfect fix for uh, your cables to last longer because um, I mean the cables do get uh, ripped really easily and it's a pain in the <laughs> because they are really expensive and even if it's a cheap cable it's really really annoying to go and buy a cable every single time that the old one breaks. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this was helpful for you, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Uh, it would help me a lot. And also again, I will be uploading videos more um, periodically now. And uh, again, a really big apology for not uploading videos for about a year. I don't know what happened to me because <laughs> I mean I love to I love doing this. Anyway guys, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.